UAB will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, second down. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Let's go. They'll work the left side. Gets to around the 42. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he's level at the 50. Well, give the defense all the credit here. Man, that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Just throws this one away. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. It's a great tackle at the 48. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's taken down right around the 20. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. The ball on the 20-yard line. the 28-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds around the 39-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at the 48-yard line. That makes it 
and into. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull up there, check down, it's up there. Pull down, pull down. Go tight, tight. Red, two, six. Makes it out to about the 43. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Sacked on the play. That is a loss of seven. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Five wide. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Check 82, watch 82, ball coming 82. Hey, Mike, get it. Steps out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Gaining five yards. That makes it fourth and 12. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Tackle made at the 26. Number one, one intended receiver, receiver on the play. On the play. That'll, That'll make it. Make They're about four more. yards away here on second down. My five, my five. Catches it. They'll bring him down at about the 41. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. My five. My five. Let's go. Green 95. Green 95. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. He chucks it downfield. And he holds in the deep pass. Oh, man, he took him down hard. We played one. Still no score. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Watch number five, number five, watch number five. And down he goes, around the 21-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass.
from their own 20 yard line. First down. him hard at the 21 yard line that play was going nowhere yeah give a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver second down and nine to go ball on their own 21 He has some room. And they make the stop at the 34. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That's a big That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 37. 51, Mike! Mike 51! Dog, four! And he's tackled the 47-yard line. He drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. Tackle at the 44. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Go four. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Go ahead, two. Go. Toss play. Makes it out to about the 36. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Going right to his tailback. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Arkansas could take the lead with this field goal, and it's good! Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on them. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Blazers will use their first time out of the half. From their own 30-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's taken down at the 37. 
Game seven on the play. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Throwing left. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. That makes it third and nine. Aaron and that long. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. They line up at the 12. First down. Arkansas has a three-point lead. And he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Catches it, and he's looking for more. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. The Blazers using their third and last timeout. Oh, excellent punt. Brought down at the 40. The Blazers know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Lock in, lock in. First down. Jack, Jack, Fox 2, Fox 2. Hut, hot, hut, hot. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 50. Thunder! Thunder! Fires quickly to the tight end. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 60-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 7-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. With a quick throw, the defender had it and then dropped it. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set of defense, anticipating pass here. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He's 
tackled at the 46-yard line. Arkansas is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Senior. So at the end of the half, UAB leads it 7 3. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground and which one doesn't give that up. A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. UAB is up four. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Fires quickly and it's picked off. He's at the 40. Another interception by this defense and their sideline is really fired up. Yeah, they didn't want this quarterback to be able to beat them through the air. And with three interceptions, I would say they are winning that battle right now. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 29. They'll bring him down at the 20 yard line. That brings up second and one. down and they need to get it to the 19. Hey defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Mike 51, Mike 51. Dog 4. Excellent. He gets hit out of bounds at the 4. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. to move and he's in for the touchdown.
So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 29-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. So the score now, 10-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And down he goes, around the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mike Fogg, Mike Fogg. Ready, red 68 hot. He fires this one. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. That's a game of 22 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 43-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. run there as they work the outside. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third, third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. UAB is looking to tie things up. It's up. And he missed it off the upright. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Arkansas holds a field goal lead. And he hauls it in. He's at the 30. Tackle around the 24-yard line. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. made at the 16-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 12. From the 12-yard line, first down. He has some room. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Play two. 
and he's tackled right around the 12 yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That brings up third and 10. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Arkansas is up a field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They line up in the gumbo set. And they make the stop at the 27. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Looks to the back and can't connect. That'll bring up third and eight. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. Arkansas's lead is six. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Booming kick. What a collision. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. So this game tight here in the fourth quarter, but now it's a chance for them to put this thing away. Arkansas up six. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Green nine, green nine. X. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it five yards. That'll bring up third and four. Man, left, man, left. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Knocked out of bounds. That's the 46. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. He goes out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Again. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Fires quick, he's got another one, and he's taken down right around the 34. Gets out to around the 25. In second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Arkansas with a six-point lead. 
Good outside run there. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. This is the ninth play of this drive. see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. the 11th play of the drive. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. There's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop. Anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run, it gives your defense another advantage. Touchdown, Razorbacks.
Penalty. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. So the offense is going to go for two. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Black five, black five. He's in trouble. They don't get it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude. And it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. From their own 25-yard line, second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They 
They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Going deep. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. Here they come. Fires to the end zone. Picked off. And it's the defense that delivers the knockout punch with that interception. First and ten. Ball on their own 13. A little over a minute in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. The Blazers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Decent run here, right side. UAB will use their final timeout. got it with room to run and they push him out at about the 43 yard line from their own 43 yard line first down we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 19-7, Razorback. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.